review video for Biology 10, Sex Determination and Traits. All humans have 22 homologous pairs of chromosomes. One pair, the 23rd pair, however, is a little bit interesting. It is the sex chromosomes. Uh, females are XX, and males can carry a Y chromosome. Now, this means for every um, single person, you would have this cross between your father and your mother. There would be an XY from your father and an XX from your mother. The possible offspring would then either be female or male or female or male. And thus you have 50% male here or 50% female here. Thus, uh, by genetics, there should be born 50% females or 50% males from this uh, genetic inheritability. So, in the human mammal, sex determination is carried in your genes, and specifically, it's carried in the sperm. From your father, you either inherit a Y chromosome or you inherit an X chromosome. If you inherit the X, you're going to be female. If you inherit the Y, you're going to be male. And so which sex you are is really up to which sperm you get. From your mom, you're going to inherit an X no matter what. And so the, the mother's genes do not determine whether or not it's male or female. It's not the egg, but the sperm that determines the sex of the offspring. Now that's pretty neat on its own, uh, but there's some added complications. Because males have a gene that females do not, well not a gene, a chromosome, and they only have one X chromosome, this leads uh, to some differences in terms of genetic diseases and characteristics. The first characteristic is color blindness. Sex chromosomes, specifically the X chromosome, carries the gene for color blindness. Color vision will denote uh, with a capital R, and color blindness is a recessive trait that will denote with a lowercase r. So, for example, if we have a normal vision male and a carrier female, uh, a female who has normal vision but carries the colorblind gene, what are the possible children? Well, if we have a normal vision male, that means we have this trait. The X chromosome has the color gene, so capital R, and the Y, which is not carrying either one of them. The female would then have a capital R for the dominant colorblind trait, but then a lowercase r on the X chromosome to show that she is a carrier. She has a recessive gene, although she is not colorblind. The cross of these two would then look like this. We'll put the female here, male here, female with X, capital R, X, lowercase r for the carrier, and then X, capital R, and then the Y chromosome. The possible children would then be, there we have all the possible children. First, we have an XX, both with the non-colorblind gene, so a normal female, without being a carrier or colorblind. Then we have XX, but with a capital R and a lower case. So we would have another possibility, possibility of a carrier female. Of the two males, we have a normal vision male, but this male will be colorblind. Uh, they have the recessive gene, and the Y chromosome does not carry the gene for colorblindness at all, or the gene for normal color vision. So if you're male and you have a recessive gene in your X chromosome, you will get the disease. Unlike a female, you do not have another X chromosome to act as a backup. From this pennant square, we can then uh, show the chance of being a colorblind male, a normal male, a colorblind female, a normal female, and then a carrier female. The results would then be colorblind male, one out of four, so 25%. Normal male, one out of four, so 25%.
colorblind female, none. None of these females are colorblind, so 0% chance. Normal female, all normal vision, that would be this one here. So 25%, 1 out of 4. And carrier female, 25% for this female here being a carrier female. For our next example, uh, do a Punnett square of a colorblind male with a normal female, not a carrier, and is not colorblind, and then fill in the percents. The Punnett square would then be set up like this, with a normal vision male and a color, uh, normal vision female and a colorblind male. The possible offspring would then be. So, in these offspring, we have a carrier female. Another possibility of a carrier female, a normal vision male, and a normal vi another normal vision male. Percent of being a colorblind male, then, is in 0%, 0 out of 4. Percent of being a normal male is 2 out of 4, or 50%. Percent of a colorblind female, none of those females were colorblind, so 0%. Normal female, 0%. Uh, carrier female, 50%. Notice something interesting here. If you are male, you inherited your Y chromosome from your dad, obviously. That means if you were male, you inherited your X chromosome from your mom. You cannot, therefore, inherit colorblindness from your dad. It's carried on the X chromosome, and you won't get that chromosome if you are, in fact, male. Colorblindness to the male passes through the maternal line and not through the paternal line. Let's try one more example question, and that's with a hemophiliac male with a carrier female. Hemophilia is also a sex-linked trait, like color blindness. Um, do the cross and pick H as your letter to designate hemophilia, and it is also carried on the X chromosome. The Punnett square then set up with female and male. So we have here the carrier female and a male with hemophilia. Uh, the possible offspring are then, there we have a carrier female, hemophiliac female, a normal male, and a hemophiliac male. So to fill in the percents, the number of hemophiliac males is 1 out of 4, or 25%. Number of normal males is 25%, 1 out of 4. And hemophili hemophiliac females is 25%, 1 out of 4. The amount of normal females, 0. They were um, all uh, either carriers or hemophiliacs. And the last one, carrier females, 25%. And that is the end of the review video on sex-linked traits.